Well, this was honestly really hilarious and, in my opinion, very long overdue. So, what's going on is that it seems that the professional victim, Meghan Markle, and the regime narrative bootlicking soy boy under her command, known as Prince Harry, have been evicted from the UK home by King Charles. These uh, shameless, fake crying pretend victims who live in a luxury multi million dollar home ought not to be shocked considering the fact that they trash the royal family real hard in their little hit piece propaganda series on Netflix in which they failed at their goal of making it seem like they just want to be left in privacy. See, nothing shows a, a desire for privacy more than producing a high budget series about yourself in which you are followed for months by a camera crew. Uh, and then releasing this series on a very widely used streaming service. And also nothing shows a desire for privacy more than giving interviews on live TV and publishing books about yourself. But the results of this is not only having an entire episode of South Park dedicated to trashing and roasting you, but also being evicted from your own home in the UK, a country in which such an act is likely to be highly supported by the general British public, who have since, you know, have long seen through your little charade you guys have pulled off. You know, but, you know, this is just the, again, like I said, very long overdue. This is on Global News. It says Prince Harry and Meghan Markle evicted from the UK home by King Charles. And, and I should point this out too. I'm not like a huge, uh, what, what I call royalist. I want to point that out. But, you know, hey, but, you know, this is long overdue. I've said that before. It says in the article, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been evicted from the UK home at the request of Harry's dad, King Charles III. The Duke, the Duke and Duchess of, Su of Sussex, have been allocated to uh, allocated sorry have been allocated uh, Frogmore College or sorry Cottage, not good at reading on a computer, on the grounds of Windsor Castle as their main residence, where they were working royals. But now several publications report that the property is being offered to Charles' disgraced brother. Prince Andrews, the Duke of York. The cottage was a wedding gift to the couple but from the late Queen, and when they left the UK to, for California in 2020, they said Frogmore Cottage would remain their home base while visiting. Well, that certainly has changed and, and no longer the reality. It says in the article, We can confirm the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been requested to vacate their residence at Frogmore Cottage, a spokesperson for the couple said in a statement Wednesday. Yep. As said before, long overdue. Uh, the ar article goes on, while Buckingham Palace has not issued its own statement about the eviction notice, reports say that Charles began the process on the 11th of January, one day after the publication of Harry's best-selling explosive memoir, Spare. The palace uh, cut off the royal police protection for the couple and their children when visiting the UK, making Frogmore Cottage the only remaining space that would meet their security needs when visiting. It's where they stayed when visiting Queen Elizabeth during their, plat during her their Platinum Jubilee visit in 2022, and is covered by the Metropolitan Police's Royalty and, sorry, royalty and Specialist Protection Unit. Uh, however, it appears the property is no longer will no longer be an option for them in future visits. Continuing on the article, it says, It's no secret that the rift between Harry and his family has deepened since the publication of his book, which included his account of private and sometimes unflattering conversations and encounters with his father, as well as his brother, Prince William. Yeah, like I said, nothing screams like the desire, nothing screams the desire for privacy more than publishing a book detailing all the personal information and all the private stuff you've been involved in. Yeah. It's a bunch of garbage. Any claims they want to be left alone and be, you know, even South Park sees through them. That just kind of says the how, how just how failed their charade actually really is. But as I said before, you know, I'm not like a huge royalist, but this is long overdue. And I'd imagine it probably is, is well supported over in the UK. So anyway, just wanted to point that out. Just the laughing stock these two have become. Uh, anyway, just I could say a whole lot more, but not going to bother. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ with, be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.